Once you have built your data foundation on SAP HANA tables, you can finish your universe by creating a business layer that specifies the folders, dimensions, and measures that will be available to users when they connect to the universe using one of the client tools. In this tutorial, you will create a business layer for a data foundation based on SAP HANA tables. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0, version 14.0.0, v2010-1019-0760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. Create a new business layer in your project. Right-click the HANA project. Click New. Select Business Layer. Choose the appropriate type of data source. For SAP HANA, the connection is relational. Select Relational Data Source. Click Next. Specify a unique name for the business layer. Type HANA BL Tables, and then click Next. Choose the data foundation you created based on SAP HANA Tables. Click Browse. Select the HANA, HANA DF Tables Data Foundation. Click OK. The best practice is to manually create classes and objects, rather than to have the Information Design Tool create them automatically. Clear the Automatically Create Classes and Objects checkbox. Click Finish. Click Minimize. Create the structure for the business layer, starting with the folder called Information to contain the most common dimensions. Select the HANA BL Tables business layer. Click the Insert Object list. Select Folder. Click in the Name text box. Type Information, and then click in the Description text box to commit your entry. Create Dimensions for the Business Layer. You can create dimensions manually, or drag and drop them from the Data Foundation. Right-click the Information folder. Click New. Select Dimension. Create a dimension for Customer Name and define the select statement using the SQL Assistant. Click in the Name text box. Type Customer Name, and then click SQL Assistant. Click Plus to expand the PV Copa KNA1 table. Double click Name 1. Click OK. Next, create a dimension for Material Number by dragging and dropping from the Data Foundation. Click the Toggle button. Click to drag and drop material number to the information folder. Change the name of the dimension for clarity. Double click the material number dimension. Click in the name text box. Type material number, and then select the HANA BL tables business layer. Next, create a folder for your measures. Click the insert object list. Select folder. Click in the Name text box. Type Measures, and then click in the Description text box to commit your entry. Create a new measure for Actual Revenue, and define the Select statement using the SQL Assistant. Right-click the Measures folder. Click New. Select Measure. Click in the Name text box. Type Actual Revenue, and then click SQL Assistant. In this example, the SQL of the measure is a sum. Click in the SQL Expression text box. Type SUM, open bracket, and then click PLUS to expand the PV Copa CE1 IDEA table. Click to scroll down. Double click VV010. Click in the SQL Expression text box. Type N bracket, and then click OK. Note that the aggregation function is also set to SUM. The structure of the business layer is now complete. Save your changes. Click Save. Once the business layer is complete, you can create a query to test it, and then publish it to the repository. Refer to the Run a Business Layer query and publish a new universe file based on a single data source tutorials. You have successfully created a business layer for a data foundation based on SAP HANA tables. This is the end of the tutorial.